Hello everybody. Welcome to another uh, Mr. Prime's uh, toy review. Today I will be doing Hunt for the Decepticons Sunspot Scout Class figure. He is, you know, just your repaint of Skystalker here. Let's move this guy here out of the way. Here they are, both of these and guys and packages. As you can see. Now, there's really nothing different between this one and the Skystalker. Except for, you know, the names and then the paint job. You know, you got the yellow, white, dark gray, a little bit of maroon in the figure. And then on Skystalker, or, yeah, you got, uh, you know, the maroon, the blackish, really deep gray, um, some little, bit, you know, lighter grays, some red. So, basically, that's pretty much all the differences in them. So, you all know how to transform him into robot mode. Here is what he looks like in his robot mode. Really nice. This is my first version of him to be opened up. As you can tell, my Skystalkers ain't. So, <clears throat> articulation wise, will be. Let me get his head down just a little bit. You know, the head can move up and down, it will rotate 360. Arms will do your 360. It's got the um, elbow joints. Legs can, you know, go forward and back. It does have like a little knee cavity joint. And then, you know, same thing as Skystalker. The feet have that little gimmick that are spring loaded. He can pose really, really good. Um, the only flaw I don't like about this version. Is that this paint job does not scream Decepticon. I mean, the bright yellow, the white. I mean, to me, it should be an Autobot. So after I'm done with this review, that's probably what I'm going to do to this guy. I'll probably end up whiting out the Decepticon's logos here on the sides. And just putting some Autobot logos, you know, maybe on the back here of the wings. Yeah, well, uh, it also has the, his weapons of choice, which are pegged into his wing. Go ahead and get one of them out and set him aside, which is right here. It's got the little, uh, peg here that will allow him to hold on to it. You know, he's got a peg in his hand. Just take it, you know, you can peg on to it, like so, you can use your hand. Then it has the little clips, you know, if you ever wanted to, it'll clip inside towards, closer towards his forearm, like that. Robot mode on this guy, I have to give it a 10. Vehicle mode, 10. As soon as I get the paint job done, it'd be awesome being an Autobot. Alright, let me go ahead and fix his weapon back up on. And let's transform him. Well, first we're going to go ahead and tuck his head up. And then we're going to move his side arms down. Out of the way, so we can at least... Get the front. You want to go ahead and bring your legs all the way straight down. Start working the wings off to the side. Keep it in mind that this all will peg in together here. First, we'll go ahead and work this side joint. Pop that in, pop that in. So this is what you're going to be having. 
Then the back, where his hands are at, there's a peg and a hole. Just go ahead and snap them together. Peg it. Make sure that section is done. Bring down the wings. And if you notice on the wings here in the bottom, there's a yellow peg. And there's the white hole part on both sides. Just go ahead and pop them on like so. There you have it so far. Get this part pegged back in. <clears throat> like that. And then you just want to go ahead and bring up the feet. First part of your feet, you're just going to want to rotate the feet all the way back up. Sliding this piece here into the groove. The little cavity. Bring it up. Just rotate your legs upwards into... Snap it in. Rotate. Bring it on up in. And just tuck it in and it snaps all in place. Now after you got them all into his plane mode, the next thing you're going to do is down here, chest area, there is the landing gear. You can tell. Just go ahead and pull it out. Push it up. And there you have Sunspot in his vehicle mode. You know, no difference between him and, you know, Skystalker. Except, you know, black, yellow, and white. On Sunspot, you know, you got the Decepticon logos here in the back. But on Skystalker, he's on the wings. And he's got 808 attached to it. For the mode to where you can combine him with Mind Wipe. Again, airplane mode. I'd probably give it a 10. Um, again, as soon as I'm done with it. I plan, as soon as I'm done with this one. I plan on putting white paint over to cover this. And then I plan on putting on some larger Autobot logos on the wings. And then maybe doing a little bit of something like this. So... There you have my review of this, I, I think, pretty good looking toy. I just don't like to see it as a Decepticon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, sub, and comment on this video. Um, I will be posting other ones up during the week. And, um, you know, stay true to the TF community. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. See ya.